Hey everyone, welcome back to Objective Reviews. My name is Nick and in this video we are going to be checking out 8Tasks app. And conveniently enough for the segue, it is also called Tasks. Tasks is the latest entrant into the iOS GTD Kanban scene. It is powered by iCloud, built for iOS 13 and comes with dark mode. Let's check it out. Let's get into the basics of the app. The app is fashioned around the Kanban style where a task is not only in a complete or incomplete state, but can be also in various other states in the middle, like in progress, testing, checking, delivering, discussion, etc. The app also allows you to assign three levels of priorities to your tasks, so you know what needs your immediate attention and what can be deferred to a later point in time. You also have the option to create and assign custom tags to your tasks, so you can further classify them. That's the organizational part of the app. That's how you organize all your content. Now let's see how you can view them. You get three options here, that is all tasks today and this week. So that depends on the date you assign on those tasks. And you can further filter them by the custom tags that you create or the three levels of priorities that I just talked about. Once you open any segment, you can view all the tasks in that segment on the right with all the columns. And as you can see, in my particular case, I have two additional columns here in progress and testing as this is for a software project. While you're inside a project, you can tap on the settings icon to bring up the project settings and then tap on modify statuses so you can create additional columns or to reorganize them to suit your needs. Now, while the app does support dragging and dropping tasks from one column to the other, this was largely a hit or miss in my testing while on the iPad. However, I do prefer context menus to do the same thing because they are now also supported by the trackpad gestures that were recently released in iPadOS. While dragging and dropping does allow you to move a lot of tasks in bulk, I, this is really not a thing for me. But however, I do know people who would absolutely love this feature and are gonna really, really dig it. While editing a task, you can add additional fields to it like text, date, subtasks, and URLs and additional tags. And while I was hoping that the text field does allow you to enter URLs, so you can link external assets like emails, documentation, websites, web pages, whatever that works on a URL. Uh, while the app does accept the text input of the URL itself and also displays it, it does not identify it as one. So it isn't really tappable. You'll have to copy it again and take it to a browser to open it. So I hope the developer enables this in a future release of the app. Talking about assets, and this was a very weird thing for me, the app wouldn't let me store the full image asset even if I select a picture or take a photo. It always cropped it into a square. And that was very weird. I don't know if this is a bug or if this is intentional. Either way, uh, that's not really a great thing. I would really, really prefer to have the full image asset that I'm attaching to this or just take a URL uh, from the Photos app and have it directly open the Photos app when I tap on the link. Overall, this is a very solid foundation for a successful app. Gorgeous animations and extremely welcoming empty states, iCloud syncing out of the box, dark mode, iPad cursor support, upcoming macOS app, this, that, you name it, this app has it. And it is becoming a good candidate for me to replace things with this on at least my iPad to begin with. We'll see how that experiment goes. Tasks is a free to download app, but with a $10 annual subscription or a $35 lifetime purchase, you can get unlimited projects, iCloud syncing, uh, iCloud collaboration, so you can share your project with someone else and collaborate on it with them. And I don't believe there's a limit of on this from the app itself, but I believe iCloud limits it to 50 people. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. And you also get to select from a variety of app icons as you saw on my iPad, I was using a custom icon. So you get that included in that price. Not only that, but you also get to support an indie developer, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. And I wanted to have this video out on the day the app launches. But later on in July, when the macOS app releases, uh, that is gonna get bundled into the same purchase as well and you will not have to purchase that or have a separate subscription for the Mac app. It'll be all included in this itself. There are other certain limitations right now like there's no share sheet extension or an action extension or widgets and all of that will be coming soon in the future in future releases. So overall this looks very very promising. I'll leave the link to the 
app on the app store down in the description so go check it out and as always if you like this video hit the like button if you disliked it you know what to do and if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the comments cheers